like President Robert Mugabe. Zimbabwean Courage Mangwiru is a qualified teacher. He lives in Johannesburg and is also an active ZANU-PF member. And this weekend, he will be boarding a bus and going home to vote. My plan is just to go there, cast my vote and return to South Africa for work. The border is going to be busy. This is uh, the only time we as Zimbabweans have a chance to go and rectify the uh, political pandemonium that has bedeviled our country for such a long period of time. It's estimated over 3 million Zimbabweans are living in South Africa. And with illegal border crossings, the figures are notoriously inaccurate. I'm here at Powerhouse Bus Terminal in Johannesburg. The buses are revving to go. Uh, it's better known as the Zimbabwean Bus Station because most of these buses, we've got Harare here, we've got Bulawayo, they're heading back to Zimbabwe. As you can see, the men are all packing boxes. They say it's cheaper to buy produce in South Africa and take it to Zimbabwe than it is to buy it back home. Uh, a lot of these people are going to be traveling an entire day just to get to Zimbabwe, just to reach a ballot box, but they believe that it's worth it. Yeah, we just want to make sure that uh, our votes, my vote will be counted. Just going there to vote. After voting, we'll come back here. Charles Motorera is also buying his bus ticket. He just wants a free and fair election. Yeah, them DC will win this election because ZANU-PF have been rigging for the past 15 years or so. So this is a way that, because now we are in the government, it will be difficult for them to rig the election. All the Zimbabweans we spoke to say they see themselves as economic refugees. And will go back home when their country is stable enough for them to make a decent living. Yusuf Omar, Johannesburg. News that moves. ENCA.com.